Hey, hello, and welcome back once again. In this video segment, I'll review the procedures to complete the tool operations for the part on the screen. In Mill Lesson 6, you created the geometry, and now in Mill Lesson 7, you'll create the tool path operations. Now, to start off with, I'll duplicate Lesson 6 for Lesson 7. Let's hit the rewind button and verify the completed part. So at the bottom of the screen, just going to click on the rewind back to the start button. Now, before I hit the play button, to kick off, we'll face the part to 0.45 thick. And then following this, we'll machine to 0.325 thick and machine around the 2 inch boss. So let's hit the play button. Now, after it's machined around the boss, we'll spot drill the 3.8 UNC holes. Now, here comes the spot drill. And then following this, we'll center drill the bolt hole circle holes. Here's our center drill for the bolt hole circle. And then following this, we'll drill the bolt hole circle holes. And eventually, when we do drill these holes, we're going to be using PEC drill. Now, following this, we're going to tap drill the 3.8.16 UNC holes. So here comes our tap drill for those four holes and then following this drilling operation we're going to use a 3.8.16 UNC tab now following this we're going to rough and finish the triangular shaped pockets and then following this we're going to rough and finish the inch and a quarter diameter bore. And then finally we're going to rough and finish the slot over on the left hand side. And there's our completed part. Now before we leave verify let's move up into view and I'm just going to slide over and get four views of this part. Let's hit the rewind button and hit the play button again. Now we can go into individual views. I'm going to do a right mouse click. We can click on top, right mouse click, fit. So we can have different views in each one of these views that we see on the screen. Now our final tasks in this lesson will be to verify all the toolpaths and then we'll create the CNC code. Now this completes this video. Thanks so much for watching. In the next video I'll start the toolpath.